Hello lovebirds, Tanya TKO here. And today we have, I'm just, I'm doing a, a vlog because it's been so long since I've made a video. And you know what, you know what's really weird? <laughs> you guys know how I got on YouTube. I was, um, I was sick after my surgery, my near death experience. And I was, um, I was at home, catatonic, etc. And so YouTube was, I, you know, I started YouTubing. It was really just kind of for fun. And I did it, you know, to brighten other people's days. Like some of my earlier earlier videos were like joke videos, etc. You know, I'm really serious now. But when I first got on, I really wanted to brighten other people's day because it was in brightening other people's day that it brightened my day as well. And so I have come to the recent conclusion that um, actually, you know, YouTubing and helping other people really helps me. You know, I don't, I don't know, I don't quite know how to describe it, but just, okay, just imagine a heart, okay? And imagine a heart pumping and the vessels that the blood is pumping out from the heart doesn't have anywhere to go. And so it gets built up and backed up into the heart until the heart is engorged and, um, and just so swollen and just bursting at the seams, ready to just let that out. So that's how I feel, you know. So I make these, I make these videos because, you know, um, and then you know what, and then, <clears throat> and then, oh wow, you know, I don't even know how to go into this segue because it's just, just, just came into my mind. Um, You know, there's sometimes things that just seem so random, and they're not really random at all. You know, I realized, you know, even though how I got on YouTube was arbitrary, and had I not been sick, I would have never, ever made my first video, because, you know, I was a very private person. And so, you know, so I made my first video, and then here I am, 36 million video views later, you know, 51,000 subscribers here, 10,000 on Facebook, another three grand on, on, um, on, on Twitter, plus my TKO skin line where I'm at the TKO skin loft right now. And for those of you who want to see my outfit of the day, <laughs> with my, <laughs> for those of you who want to see my outfit of the day, go over to tanyatko.com and, um, and check that out and I'll let you know where I got these pieces and how I put it together, etc. All right, so you know, so sometimes things just seem so arbitrary, but they're not, they're not arbitrary at all. Like, you know, and then I realized just recently that I was actually made to help people. I was, I was put on earth to help people. And lately, you know, some of you who, and that's part of the reason I haven't made a video in some time, because, you know, there have been some things that have been happening behind the scenes. I don't, you know, I'm going through this metamorphosis. <laughs> You know, I'm just I'm going through this this change. And I don't I don't really I don't really know how to describe it. You know, I was describing this to like late in the midnight hour, I was describing this to somebody and it's like <clears throat> you know like when you see you know like when you see those movies of like like Superman or like um a vampire or a werewolf, teen wolf or whatever, right? And um, and so the the person comes of age and they start noticing some different things about themselves that they didn't that they don't quite understand and they don't really know what's happening and um, and so they they go off searching for answers and they don't really know if it's their imagination or if something is really transforming in them and they realize that they're not like you know the rest of the family <laughs> you know they realize that they are a vampire or a teen wolf or you know or superman and then he has to go to the cave and then find you know his little kryptonite or that remember the little crystals that spoke with the lights and everything that was good good tv back in the days so anyway so um so yeah so there's this this transformation happening to me um, <clears throat> behind the scenes and on the inside, and I don't really know what's going on. Remember, I started developing psychic abilities. There was some strange sound that had happened in one of my, like, something 
flew down <laughs> off of just it, it turned itself over on the desk over there then my bell started making weird sounds and so there's just been and then like you know my mind has changed too like it's become so sharp and so crisp and like things aren't lost anymore and I know exactly where to find them not only that there's this knowing that I have and it just it's like I don't know how I know it but I just like know it and it's like it's just a matter of fact you know so anyway I um and you know so so I've been so and yeah so people have been writing that they um that they want to see more videos that they want a new video etc because you guys you know you um you depend on the videos or whatnot and I depend on putting them out too so you know if I don't make videos I um I'm not happy about that and you know what one thing that I wanted to um one thing that I that I wanted to um stop and touch base about today is and this is a really important point for me to get out you know life wow life doesn't just happen to us you know we don't just wake up one day and then it's like oh here we are you know life is like this continuous process where we the life that we're living today is a result of choices and processes that we did over the the span of time. And I realized with me that um, that there was something that I did and a choice that I made that has affected me greatly today. And this is part of the upheaval that is happening behind the scenes. Like if you see, even my background is all uh, 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 it's all asunder. Right, and um, and part of the reason for that is because I'm going to be building a mini studio, a mini production set here inside the loft. And I realized that I made choices years ago when I decided to even move into this loft. You know, when I'm, I have 1,500 square feet of empty space. <laughs> and when I decided to put things inside the loft, I put only TKO skin stuff inside the loft and I kind of tried to repress, you know, my desire for the travel show and my talk show, etc. I repressed that and I tried to build up and fill up every corner in here with TKO skin stuff, really just, you know, delving fully into that and I made the choice. I made I, I could have put I could have built a production set in here when there was far less things and I could have made that a priority. And I wanted to ask you what are some things in your life that you haven't made a priority that you're just kind of going along, you know, going along the doldrums and then when you wake up one day you're like, here I am but you went along the doldrums along the way and so you woke up into an existence that you participated in creating so i want to know is there a way for you to participate actively participate in creating the life that you want for the future because the life that you're living now is a future is a result oh goodness it's a result it's the future of the past that led here and you know it's like when we talk about the past and when we talk about the future when we talk about the present you know we talk about it as if it's some construct where this exists here and that exists there but every moment is the present you know I was just thinking oh gosh and this is this is this is off topic but I was thinking today because I I was I was trying to cheer myself up and so I was listening to some some Brian McKnight and actually it started to make me feel sad <laughs> listening to I know he has some beautiful love songs but it started to make me feel sad because when I was in my 20s I lived in Atlanta <laughs> and um, and there was this there was this guy, I think his name was Sean, I don't really remember. But we, when I was in college, I had like this little part-time job as a telemarketer. So listen, be nice to your telemarketers. I had this little part-time job as a telemarketer, and every night he would walk me to the bus stop. He might have had a crush on me, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I mean, as a woman looking back on it, maybe he had a crush on me, I don't know. But he would walk me to the bus stop, and he would sing. Brian McKnight songs to me as we waited for the bus and it was so cold I remember and when he would sing I would feel so just so warm with all of just the gushing of just he because he could blow oh my goodness 
And so he would sing and sing. His name could have been Mark, I don't know. But he would sing and he would sing and he would sing Brian McKnight to me. One last cry. And the thing is that even though the songs were sad, he would sing about them in such a way that just made heartbreak even seem beautiful. Oh. And you know what? And the thing about it is that I was in that moment and I was young and I was in my 20s and I was a college student and I had the world, the world was my oyster and at my doorstep. And when I was in that moment, you know, I didn't appreciate college for what it was. I was always, hmm. This, I'm sorry, this is very sad. And this was before my mother passed away and everything, you know, and it was like, it was like when I was in that moment, you know, it was like high school had just ended. So, you know, we were all reeling and just getting over, over that. And, you know, then you'd see the, the high school kids from the people who were, corny in high school who were now trying to be the big men on campus all of a sudden you know and then and then and then just the whole not having money and not really having food and having to live in the dorm and all of these other things and you know it's like I was in that moment and I couldn't really see it for the beautiful thing that it was you know it's like so now I listen to these Brian McKnight songs and I look back and I think about how perfect, oh God, life was perfect. And you know what? And one thing that I could relay to people, if I could, is that, oh honey, life is perfect. <laughs> Listen, life is perfect right now. And what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go off into the future somewhere and then realize just how perfect it really was you know it was like gosh I think about all these things that bring back nostalgia you know when right before R Kelly was accused of all his craziness and he had his 12 play and the 12 play remakes and the and then you know we had the um and then Love Jones came out and Oh my goodness. And then set it off. And I was so in love with Blair Underwood. And then my first boyfriend. And, you know, my first, my sharing my virginity. And my first car, which was stick shift. And how I learned how to drive stick shift in a parking lot. I had about 20 minutes to learn to drive. Because we were getting on the road that night. So they took me to this parking lot. It was like midnight. It was like like a Kroger parking lot and they took me there and they will they explained some stuff to me <laughs> they explained look you push down on the pedal and you move this you gotta keep moving it up when you feel the car do this I had 20 minutes because we were driving to New York and that's how I learned to drive stick you know and um yeah you know that was Patrice and them and oh my gosh and you know what the thing is that when we're in the moment, it all seems so ordinary and it all seems like, oh, you know, this is whatever, you know, but this moment is beautiful and the things that are happening right now in our lives are beautiful. And <clears throat> we have to stay in the moment now and really participate and really love and delve into what it is that we have before us right now. And we have to realize that in this moment, we make this moment what we want it to be. And we have to imagine our future up ahead. And we have to do the things incrementally, little by little, to lead to that future. You know, because it's like, you know, it's like if you don't participate in the future that you want, then you will be left with the future that you did participate in. And that might not have been the future that you wanted or you planned for. And I told a friend of mine this yesterday, you know, because he was telling me that he wants to open up this store. You know, he's kind of on the hush and he's like, oh, I hope it happens or whatever. But I'm like, you know what? If our, if our dreams don't seem ridiculous, then we're dreaming too small. You know, I think that we have to really think big and dream 
huge and just really just stretch the boundaries for what is possible so that you have something that you have to work towards and listen when you put it out there the universe will assist you it really will so I have decided that I am you know what I've always wanted to get the Tanya TKO show off the ground why wait I'm not gonna wait for a studio to pick me up I'm gonna build my own studio so those of you who are on my Facebook page <laughs> you um you've seen some of the you've seen the you've seen like the setup you were able to vote on that etc so if you're not on my Facebook page the link is below make or you can just join you know what you can join the mailing list on my website on tanyatko.com that way you are you're always in the know so that you don't have to be dependent on YouTube you know letting you know when I've done a video you can um, tune in over there etc you know so um so yeah so you know I just oh. Yeah, you know what? I just want I just want to bask in, in the in the beauty of this moment right now. And I am working towards getting my show off the ground. So you guys are gonna see some big changes happening in the future. Um the whole background is going to change. It's gonna be so different and it's gonna be the way I want it to be, you know, because instead of because what I've been doing is I've been throwing money at the at the problem, trying to, you know, satiate this desire that I have inside of me with other things. But I've decided to, instead of throwing money at the problem, trying to fix something that just feels broken, I'm going to throw money at what it is that makes me feel whole. And so that's what I'm going to be dedicating my time and efforts into because, you know, spreading spreading the message of love to you guys it fills me it does with inexplicability it just fills me with something inexplicable and I know that this is something that I was born to do you know um, I'm gonna cut off this video and I'm going to record another video after this to talk about some more of the changes that I've been going through and then I'll, I'll publish them you know a day apart or whatnot so listen I love you guys um, <clears throat> I, um, I want to share with you guys this experience that I'm getting ready to go through. So I want that to be in its whole new video. And I met a guy. And I want to talk about, I want to talk about, oh goodness, my face. I want to talk about that too. I met a guy. And it's been very interesting. Very, very interesting. And he watches my videos. So um, I'm going to take a big risk by even speaking on this. But. Listen, I feel that I really need to and that I have to share this experience with you. So stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be talking about that. And remember, if you want to see my outfit of the day, come over to my website, tanyatheo.com, and I'll let you know piece by piece what I'm wearing and where I got them from. So let's hug. Let's hug. And remember, if I could say anything before I leave this video, I definitely want to stress for you to please please realize this moment for what it is because I don't want you to look back 10 years from now and realize just how perfect it was so it's like we're always living in a time that's not here you know and one you know let me say one more thing before I go ladies if you um if you're buying clothes and those clothes are too small and you have to constantly you know live in an existence with small tight clothes that's self abuse you wouldn't do that to your children, would you? Be like, oh, listen, you're gonna get this size clothes until you lose some weight. No, I don't. I, I definitely, I don't advocate you buying clothes that are too small. Maybe one outfit, one, to motivate you into getting there. But listen, the you're not the problem. The clothes are the problem. Get something that fits. Work on whatever and just get something that fits because even if you lose weight, you don't know if you're going to lose weight into the shape that those clothes require because everything is not for everyone and everything doesn't fit the same. So that so I, I'm going to say that. So constantly living for a time that's in the future that's not right now, you know, then we'll look back and you know what, listen, let me say this. I don't care how old you are. Mm -mm. This is the youngest that you will ever be. So enjoy this now. Honey, this is the youngest. Think about it. 
Think about it. This is the youngest that you will ever be. So I don't care. You look around and you're like, oh, I got these crow's eyes or whatever. Or, oh, I'm in my 30s now. Oh, I'm in my 40s. It doesn't Listen, this is the youngest that you will ever be. Live it up. <laughs> Toast it up, girls and boys. So, And on that note, give me a hug. You guys ready for the hug? Hug me, hug me, hug me. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Love, 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 love. Very much. Okay? <laughs> now go out there and love one another. But most importantly, what? <laughs> Let me hear you say it. What? What? You know, love your self. Come over to my website, TanyaTKO.com. Find me on Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash TanyaTKO show. On Twitter, Twitter.com forward slash TanyaTKO. On Pinterest, Pinterest.com forward slash TanyaTKO. I'm all over, just under TanyaTKO. I'm also on Instagram, TanyaTKO. And that's Tanya, what? Yes, with an O, T O N Y A. TanyaTKO, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>